Hey YouTube, it's NBG here. I'm going to go ahead and bring you through the second day of my gold making. You saw what I did yesterday in that way too long video of exactly what I made, exactly what I put up, kind of what my plans were. Um, today we're going to go through it, but we're going to make it a lot faster. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. As I've stated before, I start every morning with a quick cancel scan and uh, once I get this done I will go ahead and grab everything and uh, head back over and get it reposted. Alright, heading over to the mailbox, go ahead and grab everything out, grab my expireds, grab my cancels. I can already tell by the base amount of mails that I have and how many items I'm grabbing that yesterday I think was better than we thought. But let's go ahead and grab all this stuff and head on over to post. Here we are going through our post scan, getting ready to put all this stuff back up. I kind of didn't look at my gold. I don't remember what the gold ended up um, at yesterday. I probably should have looked at that. But right now I'm at 1,874,000. And the little bit that I gained was I did about four callings yesterday. I didn't do very much. Um, and on top of that, I also obviously had my covenant tables to end the day. And that's where that that's where that made up gold was. I, I didn't do anything else. Um, let's go ahead and post these and then we'll go take a look at the mailbox. Alright, head into the mailbox. Um, as we can see here, um, 121,000 in this mailbox, because I don't have more than 100, so I can see exactly what it is. 121,000 gold in this mailbox today. That mean, that might be my second best day after, ever after yesterday, which was that 158. Um, again, all of this is stuff you saw me make, or not maybe not necessarily make, but you saw the list of things I was going to make yesterday. You know what every single one of these things are. There's nothing else that I had big sitting on the auction house. You can see these heavy desolate armor kits. I talked about them yesterday. Um, somebody actually bought 107 of them at a time. Like These are making me an absolute killing. Um, let's go through the rest of this mailbox. Um, again, there's the potions of intellect that I made yesterday. Um, got some rather, uh, random enchants. Uh, more of the desolate leather type stuff. So that's like the base level 60 gear. Again, heavy desolate armor kits. Uh, what else do we got in here? More crafted gear. Lots of crafted gear. There's my celestial guidances. Um, let's see. No, that's pretty much it. You know, a little bit of cooking. Yeah, all the same stuff as I showed yesterday. All of that stuff I made. This is the profits. This is everything I made. Um, yeah. Pretty good day, if I don't say so myself. Let's go ahead and grab this and see my new total. Man, I did not think I would get this close to 2 million gold this fast. It's really awesome. Alright. Grabbing 121,985 gold out of the mailbox. Our new grand total is so darn close. 1,996,000 gold. That is awesome. I will easily break 2 million once I get done with my covenant tables. So now that I've grabbed my gold, it is off to covenant tables. Alright, here we are. Hitting up that first covenant table. We'll go ahead and complete all. Man, I love these things. These make me so much. So, what did I say I was at? 1,996,000. Um, so, what we'll do is, after I go ahead and complete these, I'll take a look at my grand total after my final table. But as you can see, like, I open up, like, I do this at night. So, I get, like, some of these caches and stuff from the night before. And then I pick up all my new stuff in the morning. And once I get done with that, um, I just run over... Open everything, obviously. Sell everything that I have as leftovers. You know, like this character doesn't have disenchanting, you know. So any of this random stuff just gets sold. Extra 200-something gold. Gold's gold, man. I like it all. Go ahead and put in my anima. Head on over and send out my mail again. I absolutely love the functionality of being able to just click one button and everything gets sent where it needs to go. Awesome. All right, first character done. I will see you at the end. 
Here we are on the final covenant table. Um, I just wanted to mention a couple things. One, I've gotten an awful lot of caches and stuff today to open. A lot of resources, very, very noticeable. Um, I'm also noticing a few things. Uh, one, as this like two week period of me even making gold has gone by, um, I'm, I'm I'm seeing a few things. Uh, first of all, the covenant tables are definitely starting to level. This is the character I just leveled like uh, during the XP event, so it's still relatively low on the campaign progress. Um, but it's still going relatively quickly on all my characters. I see that the Night Fae Covenant Table is just by far the best. It really is noticeable. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and send out these last couple and check my gold income after all of that. Two, two million and three thousand. We broke it. We broke two million. Um, I am making incredible time on the amount of gold I'm making. I, I'm doing this a little bit faster than I thought I would. Um, it is really going well. We have broke 2 million gold. That is awesome. I'm going to head on over and uh, see what we need to craft for the day. Let's do it. As we move on to the bank halt, I wanted to mention a couple things. Um, that. I made a little over 7,000, I think, again, from the Covenant Tables just this morning. I want to make a point that in the U.S. right now, um, it would only take about 7,000 gold a day to make enough for a token. So that shows right there that not even doing it two times a day, just doing my Covenant Tables one time a day, I would get enough gold for a WoW token. So obviously, two times a day, that means I'm you know, getting a token plus just from my covenant tables, just in raw gold a month. That's not including any of the other stuff I get. Which, granted, I just flip into crafting, but regardless, do not sleep on your covenant tables. They're OP. Let's go ahead and restock and see what we got today. I'm not going to go through the detail that I did yesterday. I'm going to kind of mark off the things that I know I'm not going to make immediately. Uh, a lot of this is general restock from things that sold. Let's see if it shows the uh, power potions, though, today. Um, most of these I already know if I'm going to make it or not. Um, like all of those I know I make, all of these I know I make. It doesn't have the power potion on here. Um, so I'm just going to keep on going through this and try to narrow this down on what I'm going to make. Um, again, I kind of look at the... Uh, region average daily sold, the average rate, stuff like that. I also kind of just think about it, like would I want to use this, things of that nature. Um, so I'm going to go through the rest of this and we'll see what we're left with. All right, it looks like we have our list. Let's go ahead and get shopping. Of note, no power potions on here. I don't have the good feast yet. I don't know if I'm going to be making the misses and stuff. Granted, I looked at a couple of these, and it looks like there's pretty good value today. So maybe I will take the time to mill some herbs. Again, it just depends on the prices. Um, I'll actually try to get these up today. Hopefully, things aren't too expensive. And as I go down, it wanted not a whole lot of tailoring stuff today. It wanted me to make some of like the 262 gear, but when then I double checked the prices real quick and I didn't like what I saw. So as much as it was telling me to make it, I'm not going to. And the other thing I really need to check on is enchants. It has me making like none. This is like the first time it really hasn't. But just from doing my covenant tables, I have so many resources. Like I have like 150 eternal crystals or whatever just sitting over there. So um, with that, I'm going to maybe still make some. It really depends. Maybe Soul Dust or something is overblown in price. I don't know. I'm going to check on that because as I've discussed, those, what, Guidance, whatever the heck it's called, um, those sell like hotcakes for me and I usually make a decent amount of profit. So I'm going to double check a couple things, but let's go ahead and start the shopping. Again, I pop in here. I select the gatherer that I want so that it'll pop over here. I can move this real quick so I can pop over here in the TSM task list, go into browse, um, oops, go into browse, look at what I need, let's scan all uh, for a dormy as per usual, see what's going, obviously I'm not going to be buying pigments, I will do those myself if I'm going to, buy out the couple things I need, I'm going to go send them over uh, while I'm sitting here. 
let's go ahead and take a look at Nightshade. Is there a chance I'm going to mill today? Oh, yes, there is. Look at that price. If you remember, it was like over five something yesterday. This price, I absolutely will be um, making some today. So, how do I want to do this? Let's just go. Let's just go to buyout. How much are we going to get? Oh man, we're going to mill. This is a good price, honestly. I think I'm going to buy all of this. Oopsies. I think somebody else just beat me to it. Hope not. Man, I probably need to research. I think somebody just bought it all. Or maybe some of it. Let me buy it. Yep, somebody bought some of it. Alright, we're going to buy all of this. Um, let's buy 1600 to get them out. Buy it all. It's mine. Alright, looks like we are going to be doing some inscription today. A quick scan is showing that doing the gems is probably not going to happen today. These are slightly overpriced, but I have so much of the other material that I, I'm not too worried about paying a little bit over on those. But these, all too much. Um, anchors I was used with the other one for one of the crafts, so looks like we're not going to be doing jewel crafting. By the way, I found the culprit. It looks like Soul Dust is massively overpriced right now, and that's probably why it's not having me um, make any of the enchants. But I will still double check on to see if I can actually make money off of them after I go take a look. I am on the first crafter. It looks like I do have some resources just sitting around. Um, so I will be making some Celestial Guidance today. However, another option is with how expensive these are, we check they're like 32 gold a pop right now. I could just flip all my soul dust if I wanted to as well. So, you know, is what it is. You could probably make more money just by selling the materials right now in general at that price. But, you know, I, I'm i just going to make the Celestial Guidance, I think. So let's go ahead and... I actually might make all 20 of these. Alright, make all 20 of these. Let's do it. I'm on the next crafter. Um, let's see here. just want to point out how much I love TSM for just being able to go like this and buy everything from the vendor and boom, it's done. It's fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and get in here and get our... Wait, what am I missing? I apparently do not have enough crawler meat. All right, I'm going to go buy that, or at least check the prices on it, and yeah. Well, I'm going to craft first, and then I'll go check it out. Let's get this crafting done. I don't know why TSM didn't have me buy enough creepy crawler meat, but uh, upon further review, I will not be paying those prices, so I will not be, uh, not be making those uh, smaller feasts today. I would May like I to point out that when I... Uh, need stuff like thread from a vendor I still do not have the reduced cost I'll buy a little bit extra because I'll use it anyway still don't have the reduced cost so because of that I spend way more gold than I should I think that's fairly obvious right so yeah don't be me get your reduced cost get a goblin get something have your rep up, whatever you need to do. But just don't be me. You can save gold. On the leather worker now. Uh, this will take a few, obviously. Because I have 150 desolate armor kits to uh, also make. So, yeah. It's not too bad. It's all worth it in the end. I'm pretty sure seeing my mailboxes every day so far. I think I've proven that this is worth the time investment. All right, here we are on my scribe. Um, this is the part that takes an awful lot of time. Um, I just finished milling everything, and now I am down to crafting inks. Um, as you can, oops. As you can see, crafting these inks, long time. Two seconds per, as many as I need to craft. Um, I did not get quite enough umbral inks from the milling I did, so I just won't make quite as much. I'll probably make a few less. Um, tomes is still mine, so it's not much of an issue. Um, but here's AFK time, because, you know, I have like 800 inks to craft. So, um, after this, I will craft this and head on over to my alchemist and finish this stuff off. 
here I am on the final crafter for the day. Just got stuff out of the mailbox. Uh, just making making my potions now. Last little bit. Just a little bit more waiting. And then uh, after that, we will go gather all this stuff at the bank halt and get all this stuff posted. Alright, I am back on the bank halt. So obviously I just got done doing all that crafting. So it's been a while. So even if I don't have very much up here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do my cancel scan. Get everything off that needs to get put back up, and I'll head over to the mailbox and grab everything. Alright, canceling is done. Let's head on over to the mailbox, grab anything I have expired. Which, yeah, I think I'm going to stop getting these veiled runes. I didn't sell any of them yesterday, which is, I think, the first time that's happened. Um, but on top of that, I have an awful lot more to also sell uh, from the Covenant Tables today. So, lots of stuff here. So, let me go ahead and gather this. It'll probably be more than one, more than one inventory, I think. But we'll see. Uh, no, maybe not. Oh yeah, because I haven't even started gathering my craftables. So yeah, let me gather all this and we will get to posting. So there we have it. All posting is now done. I'm um, looking at my goal. Looks like I spent 50 upwards of 55. Yeah, somewhere a little over 50k after, you know, auction house prices and all the thread and other stuff I needed to get. Um, yeah, so I spent a decent amount. That's one of the higher amounts I've spent in a day typically on crafting for what I normally do. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and see tomorrow how much I get in the mailbox. Um, my quick look is I have an awful lot of gold value up there. Um, I think it is very, 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 very easily um, going to make a pretty substantial amount of profit. Um, but we will go ahead and see. Not much plans for the rest of the day. Um, I'm just going to do um, a cancel scan every few hours like this early in the day like it'll probably be like every two hours or so up until about prime time prime time i can I, I really have to suggest that you cancel scan like every 30 minutes if you can if you can't you can't not a big deal um but i will for one start cancel scanning for a couple hours there like every 30 minutes just to really make sure that i'm on top of the list of my stuff sells first um because that's what it's about um so yeah, I'm going to do that. I might run a couple callings today. I can't remember. I think it's Maldraxxus. That's today as of as of this recording. Um, I do need rep on a few characters, so I will do it. But I'm not, I'm not going to run all 14 of my characters out there to do one calling. That's really not worth it. I will do maybe five or six of them, that, you know, of the play characters I actually kind of play. Um... But other than that, you know, today's not the day to, like, make extra time to get callings done. It's not it. So, yeah. So that will won't make me a whole lot. I'll probably make, like, 10K or something off of that. Um, I will finish the night doing my Covenant Tables, which, again, th those make bank. Those make, God, those make bank. So much free gold. You know, so many materials. They're just amazing. So tonight I'll finish with that, and then I will try to make another video for tomorrow, and do hopefully, if this goes well, the same thing as I did today. Just a kind of quick run through of the routine. How much I made, how much I get, so that you can see that I'm I'm making really, really good profits right now. Um, I'm making like 100k a day or something. I have no idea what maybe TSM or anything else says, but like every day I am... Even just on the 4th, you know, that's two days ago, I was at, you know, 1,678,000. As of today, I broke 2 million, you know. You know, I broke 2 million, I spent like 50k, obviously, with crafting, but tomorrow, <laughs> I will have a nice substantial profit again. Um, yeah, this is going incredibly, I mean, jeez, I'm, I just got done posting. I, I mean, I literally posted and immediately started filming and look at look how much is sold look at that I spent 50k and I already have 20k coming in and I think I already have like 8k in the mailbox or something so yeah I'm making some good money so with that being said please like and subscribe let me know what I can do better let me know what you would like to see and I think I'm gonna keep making these videos for a while 
um, just to really show how simple it is. I mean, yeah, I'm spending a lot of time. You don't have to spend as much time as I do, you know. If you have two characters, you know, three characters, and only one of them has, like, one profession, well, get, you know, if you did your covenant tables on all three characters and maybe just made stuff for that one profession, you'd make good profit, too. Not as much as I am. I, I have every single, well, all but uh, all but engineering, and I'm making a little bit from everything if it's worth it, um, and I have 14 characters. Granted, I don't do stuff on all 14 characters every day. I do the covenant tables for sure, but I only try and get callings done. If there's like two or three, then yeah, I'll bust my butt and try to get as many of those as I, I can possibly get done because the gold per hour is fantastic, and like I said, I like raw gold. That's why I like the covenant tables. That's why I like doing callings. So anyway, with that being said, please like and subscribe. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know what you want to see, and I will see you later.